Jump back into another league. Did I get the fifth 4 1 of the day. That would be gas. Where's your ball? Go find your ball. Go find me your ball. Find me your ball. Does the chat want to say hi to Phil? Let's let the chat say hi to Philly boy. Here he is. This is the cutest dog on Twitch. I don't care what anybody says to you. Right there. He's the man. If you subscribe to the channel, you do get an emote for the cutest dog on Twitch. Right there. That's what you are. You're the cutest dog on Twitch. You're the cutest dog on Twitch. All right, here we go. Match one, Phil. Jabberwocky's got a 5 0. Jabberwocky's playing a cool Jun deck with Faithless Lootings in it with no bobs. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I will keep this hand. Now well, it's a turn two death shadow, but it could get it could get run over. Playing against Scalding Tarn with a hand like this is pretty nice. Ancestral Visions, okay. We're definitely going to have to, like, we're going to have to get a move on it if we're going to beat up on this deck. I don't think we want either of these. What do we play at the end of that league? I cannot remember. Field of Ruin. Blue Red. This is like the Pascal Vieren's deck. Doesn't play Blood Moon. So I'm going to fetch actually just another uh, blue black land. I'm not going to give my opponent the choice on what to hit. I really don't want to just play the Shadow and get it bolted. Yeah, I think we're just going to hang out. I'm going to try to play it next turn. Because if it gets lightning bolted, then I just have nothing going on. And the way my hand is, if I can just get like one one uh, stubborn denial going, then we're going to be in pretty good shape. i got to see what I did with my last league. Oh, no lands from the opponent. That's tough. And then we're going to play two of these, and the game is likely over. It's so wildly efficient. Like, <clears throat> that is so good. We're going to stub this. I can even, they just scooped it up, yeah. Well, my last match was against Blue Red Wizards, 7 6, 2018. You are Wizards. Can't think of what I played before Wizards. It is escaping me. Um, so we get to this control deck. Pyromancer's good. K Command's good. Stub's good. Kicking Man's probably medium, because they're like a thing in the ice deck. Well, it's probably actually pretty good because they're a thing in the ice young pyromancer decks. So we want to have like just enough answers. And we're probably actually just gonna ditch a lot of these street rates. And just kind of look to settle in a little bit. So let's get this. I'm actually gonna keep my lightning bolts because they play they play young pyromancer. And they could have like P and K after sideboard. I'm going to keep one Street Wraith in because if I'm going to uh, bring in K Command, another K Command Liliana, I want to make sure I have something to bring back if I need to. What, what's the other deck I play? I play Blue White Control, Blue White Red Control, Humans, Wizards. 
Did I play against Blue Eyed Red Control twice? No, I played against the uh, the Pognify deck. No one's that two one. Um, this game's okay. I think I'm gonna keep it because we have we have like a Scry redraw. I think I'm ahead of Tron. Let me look here. Tron. So let's go up here. So against regular Tron, one, two, three, four. Against regular Tron, I'm four and one. If you add Blue Tron into that. Tron. Yeah. Four and one. Three. One, two. Yeah, total five and one against Tron. Four and one against regular Tron. Okay, so we can bottle ourselves, which is good here, so we get to check out what our top card is. It's nice getting this discard spell because we don't have a way to deal with the threat. We don't want that, so we're probably actually just going to fetch it. So we do want Blood Crypt. Let's see what they did here. They put two cards on top, so we can see one of them. Remand. What a joke card. So I think we're going to take click. The snapcaster is annoying, but the click takes our way to deal to trade with this cryptic command. Okay. We got our one street wraith. So we have plenty of snaps. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. Cycle this. Okay. Not doing anything now. So I know my opponent's hand. If they actually go snap opt, no, they're going to leave up remand. So we're just going to get this land tapped. There's no need to go wicked intense with my life total. Get the second red source. Ooh, they nibbleist obstructionist me. Whoa. Take a picture of that. All right, you got it, man. Get wrecked. Just gonna post that over here. Holy shit. That was not good. They just don't have another land drop. Their hand's pretty stoked, pretty loaded. I didn't even fetch because I was scared. I'm so scared of this nibble instruction, so I don't even think I'm going to go for it here. That was so bad. It's like, holy wow. Whew. Oh, getting got. They put a car on top, so they probably hit their land drop. They need. 
but like that was brutal. So we're gonna keep to the plan here. And now we can just go like this. Can't believe I just got nibbleist nibble obstructionist. Nibble obstructionist. I don't know how to turn this name into a verb. But whatever the hell it is, that just fucking happened to me. Holy shit. That guy got me. He's got my number. I am just holding on to that guy's pocket. Show what it happen here. I'm taking the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I'm just going to... I don't want to get stone range. I should just fetch right now. See, so yeah, I'm going to fetch, and then on my turn, I'm going to Snapcaster Thoughtseize. I might get remanded, but at least I'm on the battlefield. What's the hard part of these blue red decks is if they like get underneath you, then it's difficult. I'm just going to do this now before I get wrecked. Bruce Guy, the Magic Guy, thank you very much for the host. Appreciate that. Everyone coming over from Bruce Guy's stream. My name's Dylan Hubby, part of the Card Hoarder Network as well. I believe you are as well there, Bruce Guy. But yeah, I appreciate the big host there. Very nice of you. We're playing some Grixis Death Shadow over here. Uh, we just can't. We're not going to be able like It's going to be so difficult to get this Snapcaster Mage into play here. Hey, thank you, sir. It's gonna be so it's gonna be tough to get this snap into play because they're gonna be they have remands for days. I can try it, and maybe they'll go for the cryptic command. Because if they try the cryptic command, I can stub it, and then I can um I can stub it and then thought sees the other cryptic command, and then my opponents get just a handful of redraws. This is, it is so tough working through all this. Then we thought sees another remand. They go to remand it. We stub the remand. And then at least we start to slog through what my opponent's got here. But we like we're under a serious clock too, so I have to like hurry up and get this. And then they're gonna hit. They hit the land, so the next turn they can play around the stub. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. And that ancestral vision just doesn't really matter. Are they going to cast it? Are they going to suspend it? That is so greedy. They're going to. Oh my gosh, that is so greedy. It might give us a shot here. So, we're dead to Lightning Bolt with the line that I think I'm going to take here. Like, oh, Snapcaster Thoughtseize. They try to Cryptic it. We stub the Cryptic. We then take their Cryptic. So, they're down to one card in hand. And then we have a Faithless Looting to find some of our bombs. But I think we got to just start slogging through this. And then hopefully we can kill them before they either find a lightning bolt or this comes off suspend. The 
Let's see. We just died a lightning bolt here, and I, I, I know that, but I don't think... I, I think the longer this game goes, the harder it's going to be for us. So I need to slog through the resources, and then I hope this Faithless Looting digs me into a threat next turn. If they bolt me, they bolt me. It's been kind of an awkward draw for us. We didn't really hit a big-time threat. This is some serious discipline for my opponent. So I guess now... We might as well not looting because it's just going to get countered. And we hopefully we can trade here. Hopefully they try to bounce this and draw a card. Like the only way that I think I win this match, this this game here, is if my opponent gets a little too aggressive, and then we've got like we got a chance, but we're just a little too far behind. There's the Delta. Just going to trade. Nope, they don't. Okay. They're supposed to be, like, holding on something. All right, let's... Jeez, that's rough. Now those lands are going to do it for us. All right, well, there's an angler. So if we get rid of this, and then we get rid of a stubborn denial, I can slog through. Can't even slog through. I can go like snap thought seize next turn, and then hope. I can go snap thought seize next turn, try land Gurmag angler, and I'm at one. Snap thought seize angler. They counter it, and then hopefully we get in there. Yeah, I think that's the plan. It's pretty tough spot. Pretty tough spot for the home team here. This ancestral visions is just like slowly ticking ticking down here. We're just gonna make things harder and harder for us. is not good. There's a whole lot of bad here for us. Well, they, they tapped under a cryptic command. Okay. Let's start here. Bolt this. Man, we might... I think I'm gonna turn turn the Snapcaster sideways. Yeah, we're kind of turning the corner here. I'm pretty excited about this. We have stub up for my opponent's like next important play. We have snap stub up for the next one after that. Like I'm gonna be able to fight over this and probably win. Unless my opponent draws remand. Holy shnikes. The question is, am I attacking with my Snapcaster Mage or not? There's not much difference between two and one. So I think in any extra lands, I'm going to hope to flashback the looting. So I think I'm getting in here with Snapcaster Mage. Okay. A snapcaster mage here at the end of the turn is not good, but I'm just trying to like limit this as much as possible. So we're gonna fight over this thing. So a really good play for my opponent would be to just bounce my angler, not even counter this, just bounce my angler, draw a card, and pay for it. Like that that would be that would be the play from my opponent. 
Counter target spell draw card. Okay. So now we try again. This is gone. They have a spell snare. Okay. So my opponent can't really attack unless they can't, obviously can't attack unless they can kill me. They're still ahead on the board, putting the pressure on them. And we get the looting next turn to find another, I guess, another Snapcaster Mage or a Lightning Bolt or a Fatal Push that does the job. I have a K Command in my deck too. I think I have Liliana. We got some outs here. I'm gonna dispel this. That's not one of them. They just board out all their lightning bolts. I don't know. I'm going to attack. They're going to... We can't beat lightning bolts, so I'm just going to play Pyromancer and Thought Seize them after and look to take, I don't know, something, something a, big, a big powerful card. Okay, so they trade. They must have a dispel. That's the only block there that I think makes sense. There's not much difference between like uh, like electrolyze, I guess, is the difference between here. Why let the cryptic resolve? Did I just like miss sequence that? Because when the cryptic, they counter my stubborn denial, and then when that resolves, unless I had another stubborn denial in here, which it appears that I did. Yeah, so I just, I tossed that. Catch Satan, I just got confused. They have a dispel, so we called that at least. I just tossed that. I was like, so I was focused on like my uh, host coming in. Because if I had another cryptic in the yard, if I had another, um, yeah, there's a million lands, like, play 17, play Death Shadow. Like, don't, I don't understand other blue control decks. But, so, the cryptic command, I went to stub the, I went to stub the um, Ancestral Visions. Um, I went to stub the Visions. Then uh, they cryptic of the stub. I let that resolve, which I shouldn't have. I should have gone to snap, um, snap stub it with the one on, and still in the graveyard. If there was, that would have been the uh, that would have been the better play. Yeah. But he, but for all we know, Lucky Owl, he could have drawn the snare off the cryptic command. That's something we could have beaten. Uh, I hate hands like this. I think I'm actually going to mulligan because we're not even close to these two. Even though we have a bunch of one mana spells, like we're not doing anything. So I don't, I don't really like keeping hands like this. No, I missed it. This hand's all air, but... Well, now it's no longer all air. So we're just going to play Bloodstained Mire and pass. So this hand's actually really good if we're playing against a combo deck. Because it's just a wicked fast. It's turn two, Death Shadow. Quick, it's not good against Dark Slug Shores. This is likely going to be tough. All right, let's go get. Let's go get Blood Crypt. Cycle. Thought Scar was not bad. Cycle. Alright, stub's pretty good. There's just raw efficiency. It's 47 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good night. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Bruce by stream. He seems to get a lot of love. Plays a lot of cool decks. I think we're playing against Ad Nauseam. 
Yeah, we're playing against Adnaz. So I'm going to stub this. I'm much happier we're playing against Ad Nauseam. I thought we were playing against like a blue-black control deck. If they, if they pitch a Simeon Spirit Guide, then we'll take it. Okay. So let's do this first. We don't want to draw the land. Um, probably Steam Vents is what we want. Just all the way around. Because... All right, we're going to hit this right now. So if we draw Stubborn Denial, it's live. Angel's Grace on top. Okay. So the another real way why I like this match, this is a really good matchup for Death Shadow. I might lose this because I'm a little slow, not very disruptive. But I'm like a disc. But like the sweet thing about that Polluted Delta is it makes them use their Angel's Grace as a fog. So you take away from their win conditions for them to disrupt you. God, you just got to get better at drawing it, man. This is purely your fault, Tin Man. So, like, we're going to force our opponent to use an Angel's Grace. Ooh. That was a very good draw. Does it really matter? What does doing Pact and Negation do? They don't have enough mana to go off next turn, so there's no sense in taking the Pact. They're going to play the Unlife. I might as well just take the Phyrexian Unlife and make them use one now. Because the Unlife is going to let them... Uh, Unlife's going to let them like just sit there and not do anything. This is at least going to cause them to use an Angel's Grace now, to use an Angel's Grace next turn. Like they're just they're just in like the Angel's Grace abyss, which probably means they can't win. Like we've effectively put like in, if there's if there's ever such a thing as the combo abyss, yeah. If there's ever such a thing as a combo abyss, we we put them in it now. Like, they would need to have top deck. If they top deck Unlife there, they were good. Okay, so now there's no sense in thoughts seizing them before combat. So just go and attack. They're going to Angel's Grace. Then we'll go snap thought seize and take their um, Ad Nauseam. Yeah. It's just like a linear disruptor. We go down to three, which isn't really scary because they, they actually can't cast Lightning Strike without... It's one, two, three, four. They can't... Yeah, we're just going to take this Angel's Race. This all comes down to like when you when you have when you're playing Death Shadow, use use your stubborn denials when they're live. Don't sit there and hold for the ad nods, hold for anything because they could have they could have weaselled away to win that game up potentially. Just hit the things that are easy to hit. So we want this, this. I like rejection. Uh, I don't like dismember. I don't like lightning bolt or fatal push. So we're going to cut, cut these. I actually don't mind Ceremonious Rejection against this deck. Um, because they keep, they have quite a bit of uh, artifact. They, like, they've got at least eight artifact um, pieces. And I've seen them board into Engineered Explosives. So I think I'm going to bring in just these Pyromancers for the other two cards.
Yeah, I guess this is what we're going to do here. I could be convinced in cutting a Snapcaster for like an Abrade. I could buy that. Maybe cutting a Colagon's Command for an Abrade. But I think we're going to go like this. Oh, no, I should bring in my Explosives. Ooh, ooh, I forgot those. I need the Explosives. The Explosives are good against Unlife. No. It is just Unlife, so it's not the end of the world. It's not like missing it against humans. Well, that sucks. I'm going to shit my hand. All right, we'll keep this one. Hopefully they don't leyline me. But if they leyline me, they're effectively molding to five on the play. Yeah, they're going to lay line me. Okay. So they blank one of my cards. I've still got four cards in the graveyard. So if I hit a cantrip here, then I can still just cast uh, Gurmag Angler on two. Yeah, so that's that's how we draw it up. Let's going to see what my opponent's top card is. Oh, we can't. Can't do that because of the ley line. Um, not in the, don't want this K command. I do want the stub. And we'll, I guess we'll just pass, do this on our turn. Because I'm going to guaranteed fetch next turn because it's going to turn on my, uh, Gurmag Angler. So this is a Pentad Prism. Yep. So I guess I'm punished for not keeping that Colagon's command. No, turn off auto yields. I have to restart Moto. It's it's definitely getting a little little laggy. Yeah, now we'll just delve everything and get get nasty. And then we just have a five five on three. They could kill us next turn if their if their last two cards are land. They'd have to draw it. So they'd have to draw perfect. They'd have to draw a land, Simeon Spirit Guide, um, whatever it is, land, Simeon Spirit Guide, Adnaz into, uh, gosh, I'm blanking, Angel's Grace Ad Nauseam. So it's going to be tough to do. We could die. But if we untap, my opponent's likely surely dead because we're going to play Gurmag. We're going to get Death Shadow into play. I can even Thought Seize myself in the future if I need to. Like if I draw another discard spell, I'll just Thought Seize myself just to grow Shadow. So again, I can't die unless they have perfect. So I'm actually just going to play both of my threats. We're going to put the shields down. Because with only, with only one counter spell, I'm much more keen on hitting something that matters. Or hitting like the, the, the ad nauseum at the end. And this is only three more points, but it's eight and then... Um, it's eight points this turn and then eight next turn. So if they have a pack for the battle rate. I guess there's not a lot that can go wrong here is what I'm I guess what I'm saying. That's just probably lethal. That's lethal through a counter spell. That's why this deck's just the nut. Um go here. That's 16. Like, this deck still... This deck is still very good. It's just difficult. It's just difficult to play, and it struggles against humans. But even... I think with the cyborg plan I have, you're above 50% against humans. So here comes their Angel's Grace, which they have to pay for right now, which means they die to their packs. So they need two Angel's Grace. They need an Angel's Grace in their upkeep, or they're dead to the pack. Packed. Oh, because the pack didn't resolve, so they don't, didn't need it right then. Wow. They're just running hot. 
But that's what this deck does. You play you play 17 lands, you play cantrips, like you you draw better than most decks in the format. Alright, I'm actually gonna restart Moto here, so hang on here. So yeah, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. My name is Dylan Hubby. I am a part of the Card Hoarder Network, just like uh, Bruce Buy for the guys that came over from there, guys and gals. Um, you should check out Card Hoarder. They're the best spot chain in the business. Um, if you guys want to support me further, then go to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is linked below. I archive all my streams there. I play mostly Death Shadow, but I do also play some other fun decks from time to time when I need a break. Um... If you guys want to chat with me about magic, I love chatting with magic on Twitter. Um, that's also linked below. And another store that sponsors me is where I learned to play magic, which is Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They tend to sell at a lower rate than that Crystal Commerce because they foster a college environment. So you all should check that out. They're a great store and definitely worth supporting. So I'm going to get a drink while this loads up. I'll be right back. Let's jump back. The stream's loading up. So what's the chat doing tonight? Anybody going to the midnight pre-release? Anybody pre-releasing tomorrow? How's what is what is everybody up to? I wish I was pre-releasing tomorrow. My little brother's coming to town. So I, I'm we're gonna hang out. His little brother and his girlfriend. We're going to go out, get some pizza, get some beer. It's going to be a pretty good time. Those are two of my favorite pastimes, pizza and beer. I've been trying like hell to get founders to sponsor the stream. It's my favorite favorite beer company. Um, if you guys are into even more content, you can check out uh, Top Deck Productions. I often write for them. I actually posted a um, posted an article about what should have been what should have gone on um, with the bands for modern um, I also do videos for them um, you can find that on their channel on their YouTube channel but I do various modern videos for them I've got five or six up there I think so I, I, I I'm doing content for magic is definitely like my favorite hobby. It's a lot of fun to do. I like writing. Most of the time I like writing. Uh, this hand's this hand's good. We're gonna keep this. Most of the time I like writing just because I'm so like jumble thoughted that uh, writing helps me organize myself. Like helps me put my thoughts together. Like I've been writing I wrote a another primer about uh, Death Shadow recently, just so that I could get my, get everything going, get everything in, get my thoughts organized. So this is a really bad hand to have against this deck. And I think I gotta take the Cranial Plating, because we don't have enough removal spells to make all these cards good. This is like a, t we need a team or battle range. This is a team or battle range game. Took this deck to FNM and Deathmark, got crushed by Dredge. What's the most important target for Surgical? It changes because, like, so what did they play? Let me just catch up with what they did here. Because the games, the games play out differently. So they drew that Springleaf Drum. So they still have Signal Pest. Yeah, okay. Um, so it changes because sometimes in those long games, you have to hit Stinkweed Imp because Stinkweed Imp will brick wall you unless you find a Battle Rage. Um, okay, it's pretty good. I'm not sure we're in the market for any other lands, though, because I think we just need to find some interaction now. Uh, Stinkweed Imp is important. I also think that Conflagrate's important. Or Conflagrate. God. 
It's been rough. Let's do this now so we can scry. Let's dismember. I guess dismember's okay. I'm just gonna hit this signal pass before this Ravager comes down. It's pretty painful. Like, we're probably gonna lose this game if I don't find a Death Shadow. Um, sometimes hitting Loam is really good, or hitting, like, a creature, like a blood gas that would come back against, um, come back, which will just, like, cause a bunch of amalgams to come back. So, it is pretty rough. It's a rough matchup, I think. And what's hard about it is that everything changes. I don't know why they played that land. So we have a lot of really good sideboard cards for this deck, though. Yeah, we're just we're we're gonna pack it in here because they could go sack 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 attack one. If they play an artifact that can kill me, one two three four five six. Yeah, they play an artifact that kill me, so I can't even shock myself. Yeah, it's constantly changing. I think. Um, but it's definitely, like, knowing what to Surgical and when to Surgical in that matchup is very important. Taking cutting these, cutting these, cutting my stubs. My sideboarding might be a little messy here. I did just change the deck up just to give some other stuff a try. I previously had room for my Ceremonies Rejections. I think we're going to cut... Two thought seizes. And try this. <clears throat> I'm gonna look to bring those. I guess it's one. I'm gonna look to squeeze in another thought seize on a draw. Probably cut like a Gurmag Angler, maybe a Snapcaster Mage. I think it's a little slower. Uh, I think this is a mulligan. We don't have any removal spells. We have a counter spell and a Way to find a creature. Even though Battle Rage is good, two is not. This hand is not much better, but it is a little better. Put this in the bottom. All right, we're going to go get Blood Crypt. Our deck is more is not very blue, so we can afford to have... We want two red sources, because if, if we get Lava Man online, we're going to want to be able to activate it while casting other red spells. So I'm going to take this Thought Seize with the looking to Thought Seize this Master of Ethereum at some point. But I just don't want them to Thought Seize and take my Faithless Looting because my hand's so bad. They left an Ornithopter in their hand. That's odd. Okay, that's a good draw. So let's start. Let's start here. Okay. Uh, I probably don't need this land. I want to hit K command. And I don't think that we need this thought seize. Yeah. We're going to shock ourselves, then pass. That's the tough part about Faithless Looting, especially after sideboard when your whole deck is decent. Going down a card hurts a little more. Okay. So I'm going to bolt this Arcbound Ravager after combat. And if my opponent, uh, at the end of the turn, and I'm going to hit whatever my opponent decides to... Um, Take care of whatever my opponent decides to load it up on. I'm definitely regretting not having a discard spell. And if they just want to go sack, sack, sack and counter this, that's okay. Because that means they can't cast Master of Ethereum. Okay. It's a good one to put it on. It's a good draw, too. So now when they play their Mass of Ethereum, we shatter it and shock the Vault Scourge. And 
Let me take this hit. Makes Death Shadow alive. Ooh, that's good. The crane, the flying crane. Okay, Mox Hulk was a good hit for us. Like, so I'm going to use my mana now. And I'm going to push this Ornithopter because I don't want them to sack it. And I want to be able to shock this while shattering the master. And I can't, sh I can't shock this. It's got three toughness. We're going to hold that in our hand because we can loot it back. So hopefully our opponent slams his Master of Ethereum. We can then go Shatter Shock and gives us enough enough uh, time next turn to, uh, to flash back this looting. My opponent is playing well at like kind of leveraging that a little bit. This is an edge champion. I'm in trouble. Yeah. That's not good. So now I likely have to go Shatter Shock. Because I have to use my mana. And now I basically need to find Death Shadow. And hope they don't have a third mana for that. So destroy target artifact. Deal two damage to this. All right, Lava Man is all right. Lava Man's not going to do anything, though, as soon as they slam this master, because Lava Man just picks this off. So Lava Man's actually not good. I think we need Death Shadow so bad that I'm just going to ditch the Lava Man, sir. Play this, and then Thought Scour at the end of their turn. We need to hit Death Shadow Battle Rage in order to win this. And we still have the island in our deck, so we can get away with fetching an island. Dude, send a message with the Ornithopter. It's definitely like not trivial that my opponent is almost out of uh, artifacts. Well, now they're not. So that just kills me next turn. So we gotta find we gotta find something. Engineer explosives isn't a good hit because it's all, they have stuff at zero, one, two, and three. So, it's a tough spot for the home team. Awkward hand in game one in the mulligan here. It's probably going to do us in. Yeah, there's a land. God bless me. Yeah. GG's opponent. I think my opponent played that pretty well. What were these again? I, I just keep the stats here, so I just need to figure out what these two decks were again so that I can put them up. They were like... This was Adnaz. Okay, so the first one was Adnaz. And then round one was blue white red, if I remember correctly. Serum Visions. It was a blue moon deck then. All right, well, let's get into the games now. I just got to re record those here for my. I like to keep statistics to like, because. I tend to get caught up in what I'm doing and get, like, obsessive about it. So I'll, like, think this deck is good because I'll get, like, placebo effect because I like to play it. But I want to keep numbers in order to make sure that it's actually as good as I think it is. And I do think it's as good as I think it is. I'm winning over my last 120 matches. I won exactly 80 of them. So I'm winning two-thirds of my games in Modern, which 
is pretty is pretty it's pretty good. To win two out of three in anything, and then to win two out of three in a format that's as volatile as modern. It's where you want to be. <clears throat> I think this Death Shadow deck is really, really good. I think it's I think humans is on the way down a little bit, which is like a rough game one matchup. And it's hard. It's always hard to win two sideboard games against any any deck. Two sideboard games is is just always tough when the decks get better. Um. So this deck's good against everything but a control deck or a combo deck. I think I'm going to keep this because I have Seer Visions and Mistress Bobble and a discard spell. So I, we're we're decent against a control deck. We're really good against something like Humans, Affinity. Island is oh, makes me a little nervous. Yeah, we definitely didn't want to see Island Seer Visions with our keep, but that's part of the good stuff problem in Modern is that half of your deck is really good against the format and half of your deck is not good against the format. And in the matchups where both of your removal and your discard is good and your counter magic, then you're just like not. Something like Storm, for example. So you put a card on top. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Inform our decision. See what we need to do here. Path to Exile. So we're playing against another control deck. I played a lot of control decks today. And it's blue-white. So this is, this is tough. Um, I guess I just take this Ancestral Visions. <clears throat> and this is a tough matchup. Really tough matchup. The fact that they're moving away from Supreme Verdict, though, is really good for Death Shadow. So... So hopefully we can find more Discard. Okay, we found more discard. So that's going to take Snapcaster, which is good. We still need to deal with this Jace. Neither of these deal with Jace. Uh, I'm going to put this on the bottom because it doesn't even let us snap discard. And we don't have a... Th well, we can bolt the Jace. I think it's greedy to put this on the bottom, but I'm going to. Because... I think I need to like make things happen here because I'm behind in this matchup and I'm also behind in this game. The reason why these shadow decks have added Bobble and Faithless Looting is because they, they want those turn two threats. So they're just going to flash in a beater. If they just flash in a beater, okay. That would have been so good for us if they had played a beater there because that means we could have gotten rid of this spell snare, which makes Snapcaster Thoughtseize a live draw for this Jace. So, okay. The frickin' island. Okay, so we're just gonna pass. So honestly, kind of our best draw here is my opponent to play the Jace, them Fate Seal us, and then us draw a land. So I can bolt the Jace end of turn, bolt the Jace untap, play Death Shadow, even though my shadow gets path, then it's our hand of not very good cards against spell snare. Yes, yeah, so that's what's that's what's likely going to happen here. Oh, they're not even going to go for it. That makes sense because of uh, because of um, whatever it is, stubborn denial. Yeah, they didn't want to play into a soft stub. Yeah, yeah. So now we can't deal with the Jace. This game's over. We're just gonna we're gonna scoop it up here. There's just no set. We could we could play this game. We could drag it out, but it's just not gonna it's not gonna end up very well. So how's the chat doing? I I love interacting with chat. It's my favorite part of uh, that is my favorite part of modern, but favorite part of streaming. Excuse me. So we have a lot of good cards in this matchup. Our sideboard is geared pretty well to the fair deck. You know, we've got like nine decent cards. I tend to struggle to get all of these in, but 
cut these dismembers. I like to have Fatal Push, keep those in, because I think you have to keep them honest against Colonnade. I like to hedge an Angler, because oftentimes I bring in Rest in Peace. But I think on the play, I'm going to keep my Angler and then just bring in one Explosives. Go like this. I like to cut Street Wraith because the match, the games just tend to go long, and you can't afford to ever draw a dud in this matchup. You have to just trade. You have to trade. You have to trade more efficiently. You have to like make it so that you can cut their legs out underneath them. That's how you beat the blue white decks. Wait, we're gonna ship this. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. It's a turn two shadow. All right, put this in the bottom. I'm gonna fetch. I'm going to fetch a uh, Watery Grave and cycle this just to pray to God we hit one of our six discard spells or a cantrip. All right, I'm so good at this game. All right, so this nothing to do with the Snapcast Mage. I think – I still think I'm going to take the Snapcaster because the click is going to be probably irrelevant. And the Snapcaster is going to turn like – any draw they have, it's any spell is so the Snapcaster Mage is going to turn and make it much better. So while the Snapcaster is garbage right now, it's not going to be garbage for very long. Deploy the Colonnade. That's a pretty fantastic draw. So we have Blood Crypt. Chat Philly Boy came over here. I have the I have the cutest dog on Twitch. He's napping over here. You can't really see him because he's napping right there. You can just see his like paw kind of, I guess. But he is the cutest dog on Twitch. I'll tell Brian Kibler what's up. I'll fight Brian Kibler for the title of the cutest dog. We can also just smoke this click. And then, uh, yeah, right there, Brent Dozer. You get the cutest dog and the cutest uh, emo. All right, so we're going to get this. We're actually going to jam this before combat because we're actually going to go down, and I'm going to pick up my Street Wraith and cycle my Street Wraith for more damage. He gets me another card. And then we're probably, like, my opponent's probably going to flash this click in. And then we are going to just K command the click. Just flash and snap. Okay. I mean, this was the cost of our play. But we still got a card out of the Liliana. So it did trade. Like, basically... This like this Liliana was just a, a three mana redraw deal two damage. So that's a card they didn't draw. So I still know four out of the five of their cards. Glory days. Okay. Okay, so this is going to come in. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shock this. Targeting me. So we're going to shock. Return card creature deals two damage. And if they want to take this Street Wraith, we're going to let them. Because this Snapcaster Mage is putting a little bit of a threat on us. I remember back when Philly Boy was really little. We got him when he was like 19 pounds. He was this, like this big. I should mess this a little bit. Go down just that little bit. He was like this big. He used to like play right on – he used to sit right on my lap when I was streaming. And he put his face right on the side of my computer when he was really small. So I think they likely take the Thoughtseize. Wow. That is a good one to have them not know about. Okay. 
So maybe like a Jace is their last card in the trouble. But I think we're gonna we're not gonna beat that. Oh, now we're gonna beat that. Crack in here for eight. My opponent can still chump lock the shadow. Exiles Ancestral Legions. I can't believe they're playing this card. This card does not do anything. So they're they're just no, they play the field. So they have one card we don't know about. Let's lead off here. Oh shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. I could have snapped Colagon's commanded. Oh, I just tossed that. I tossed it, Philly. Philly, I tossed it. Philly's like, damn it, Dad. We tossed it, Phil. We can get that exclamation point punt going on there. I'll put this on top. It's probably not going to be there. But I shouldn't have even played that land. I should have played my fetch land so I can go stub, snap, stub. Literally made a mistake. And now I'm just now I'm compounding it, which is not good. I should have just like made my mistake, chilled out, and then figured out what to do. Yeah. Snap K command. I guess they had nothing snap K command was good. Do I want to do something with this? Yeah, you're right, Dark Horse. Dark Horse is coming in there with the punt. He's letting me know. I don't have anything at instant speed to do with this. So I think we're just going to let this go. Yep, strip mine me. If they tuck my... Sh oh, okay. I was going to say, if they path my shadow, and I stub it, and they tuck the shadow, then... I do get to flash in Snapcaster Mage or flashback Colagon's command and kill the Teferi. So I think my opponent's locked now. Unless they draw unless they drew an interactive spell and they draw another interactive spell right here. I think they're locked out. Because land Teferi is too slow. Unless they're planning on just blocking with Colony. Get on my face. It turns out they didn't have it. Well, we could have gotten punished. I gotta hold on me. Hey, Phil. Philly got so Philly was sick all last week. He had uh, he had what's called Giardia, which is like unfortunately it's when your dog eats poop, and he he got really sick from that. And then we took him. He finally gets better. Philly's like, Philly's good. Okay. Stomach's not upset. Energy's back. We take him down to this um, to this lake, Lake Anna, down in Virginia. And he's like, he's going nuts. He's out there playing, having a great time. We come back and he just has these huge, huge sores on him. He ended up being allergic to something in the water. So while my family's all here, my wife's family. I gotta like be back here and chill out and make sure that Phil doesn't get like make sure Phil's feeling okay. Make sure he doesn't itch himself, basically, because Phil's got these these sores that he's got. Sir, he had um he's got medication. It's working really really well. Jeez, crow, that is a that's a rough one. So what do I do? I can I can take. I kind of just want to take the Serum Visions and kind of just clunk up their draw. Because, like, we're not beating. We, we can't beat their hand. So, like, our best way out of it is hope we develop before they do. But he's got these, like, sores that, you know, it, it's hard for him not to itch. Wow, that is, like, the, that, that's a great hit for them. So let's start off with a watery grave. I'm not going to give my opponent an option to hit with this field of ruin. We're going to do this first. These cards are very good, but I'm not sure they're what we need 
in order to get ahead of this. So I think I actually have to bottom both of these. I think I, I'm, I'm in for things that deal me damage. Because I need to get my Death Shadow into play. And I need to stub something and then have another Stubborn Denial to deal with this Ancestral Visions. This is a winnable game. But we need to we need to draw something that gets Shadow into play next turn. Which maybe means that I should have Serum Visions because I'm not pathing anyways. Yeah, I definitely should have Serum Visions. I made a mistake there. The problem is if I Serum Visions, though, that they will uh, just Field of Ruin me to mess my mana up. We've done a good job grinding them out. Don't don't itch. I'm gonna turn the lights on, chat. I'll be right back. My opponent suspended another Ancestral Visions. Okay. How much of a nut would be a fetch land here? Okay, so we're just going to cycle. Put on the bottom. Doesn't matter. And I think we're going to surrender one of these shadows to a Path to Exile, as it's going to just make my... Uh, it's just going to make my um, Colodon's command better. Because now they have to choose between K commanding me and Field of Ruin me. And it is pretty nice to hit that Field of Ruin that's got, or hit my red source. Got my opponent in so many triggers. If we can somehow, like, grow our shadows. Okay, so that's what they hit. So now they can, now they have it all. They can field plus path. Which is just vomit inducing. The good thing is that at least we'll have Liliana in play. So, like, Liliana's another way to win the game. God, Field of Ruin is so good. The fact that they can fetch basic there, not take any damage, and fix their mana while stunting my mana is, is like is really good. Okay, so there's our red source. So let's go get a red source. Here. Probably Steam Vents is fine. Start with this. Alright, well, Gurmag Angler is good. So let's put this on the bottom. Let's get put nasty on top. Crack for five. Get Liliana in play. And this is like, because blue white's not beating this emblem. So this definitely is like a speller of doom. If my opponent, my opponent easily could like wrath my board here, which would make sense. Like, be a good play from them. We need them to hit like three lands off of this. A Jace wouldn't even be that bad because we could go like K command, like land Jace. We go K command the Jace, make you discard, bring back. We can actually get rid of this. So, there's a field of ruin that's going to cut me off red again. It's a good field of ruin hit. I asked for them to get lands. And just strip mines us. We lose our angler on top too, so if they have an answer to this, it's it's like double. It's really bad. Yeah. So they just like completely cleaned us out here. Oh, I should have pushed it. That was a mistake. I should have pushed it because then I could bring it back with Liliana. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, I guess we're going to snap Serum Visions here. Yeah, that was a mistake. Likely going to cost us any chance we had on it. I'm not going to say it cost us the game. Okay, so we hit Shadow. And we hit Stubborn Denial. So, like... 
You know, we're still we're still in it. We have on two turn clock. <clears throat> and I mean, this Liliana is not trivial. Like, oh god, they just oh, that's so gross. You're gonna draw four cards. So basically, I have to have them not draw the like Not draw a cryptic command this turn or the next turn. Or as can't do a cryptic command. That's that's our app. Because if we ult this, we should win. But ulting this is gonna be difficult. There's a colony. We have that covered. Now we're just like living on our prayer here. We have to fade like to fairy. We have to fade to fairy and cryptic command, and a land logic knot. All right, we can't beat Snapcaster. Mage just kills this. I could probably just scoop it up, and we're good here. Hey, thank you there. Thank you. I didn't know I was going until like, I don't know, probably a week ago or not a week ago, a couple days ago. One of my friends just like had an itching for a team tournament. So my opponent doesn't fire up his colonnade. I'm going to push the Snapcaster Mage. All right, we're good now. We'll scoop it up. We'll go to the next game, get as many, get as many matches and get some content. Our streak of four ones has ended. If I'd have hit, if I'd have won that, I would have four one five leagues today. Couldn't get the five zero. Couldn't get the five zero in any of them. I ran into blue white control too many times. How's the chat doing? Y'all are quiet. Y'all are killing me. Um, let me just update my spreadsheet. Uh, we're going to keep this. We have a can trip for zero, which is gas. I love me them, uh, them zero mana can trips. Was anybody else in the chat going to SCG Philly? Um, probably going to get Blood Crypt. Uh, Warchester is next weekend, right? Tonight's the, this weekend's the GP. Okay, so we're playing against Hollow One. We're going to take that. Our hand's kind of poor to Hollow One. We don't really have a quick threat. Let's play tap land. All right. We get if we can get our guys down, we're good. I find I find I have an advantage against this deck in the in the late game or not in the late game, the mid game. I'm gonna struggle in the early game because they're so explosive, but then in the late game, you uh, tend to beat them up because so there's Hollow One, all right. So they ditched Flame Wake and played their Mountain. So they still have a Lightning Bolt. So there's Gurmag Angler. Which is sweet. Gurmag doesn't get bolted, so let's get watery grave. Uh, 
delve our whole yard. So we're going to take 8, which puts us to 12. So I need to block this hollow one here this turn. And hopefully set something up where I can just battle rage a death shadow one time and then get there. It's a little tough. So it looks like they're gonna get under us here. And it is tough that I've just I just have to get this hollow one off the battlefield because I could play Death Shadow. But the problem is, is that if I if I just take it here, I go to four, and then I'm dead to the Flame Wake Phoenix in the air plus the Lightning Bolt in my opponent's hand, and they've they've got like I don't know they've got a bunch of things. They've got three other cards, so God only knows what they could have here. I would love it for these Battle Rages to be absolutely anything. We delving. For delving, this game's gonna get interesting. Because they delve away their looting and their flame wake phoenix. It sucks that Magic Online makes you pay the cost like this, because then your opponent can tell what you're doing before you put it on the stack. Okay, so he's brutality, bull, okay. So what they do? They, they ditch, so they have one card that I don't know about. So now we play this, play our land, flash in our Snapcaster Mage to block this, block this, and hope that they don't have anything else. If they don't have anything else here, then we're going to kill them. But if they've got I don't know. If they've got anything here, then we're dead. They got a bolt. Okay. Alright, got it. We needed these battle rages to be something. We needed to be able to interact here. If I'd have had like I guess not even a another death shadow to work. I needed a bolt to deal with this. All right. So against Hollow One, I like this. I like my braids. Let me look here. Uh, I like my braids and my Kologon's commands. Um, I'm on the play, so Fatal Push isn't great. Snapcaster Mage also isn't great. Snapcaster Mage is kind of slow. So I think we're going to play some Pyromancers to just clog the board up. Make it so they can't like just smack me on the ground so easily. I'm probably going to look to bring in more removal on the draw and cut my stubs. But I like stub on the play. I'm not a fan of Snapcaster Mage in this matchup. Like I said, you just lose the early game, which Snapcaster is irrelevant in. And you get beat in the late game because of the inevitability from Bloodgast and Flame Wake Phoenix. So, like, both places, like, two-thirds of the game, Snapcaster's not good. I'm going to ship this. All right, this is okay. I keep a land. That's, like, close, but I don't think I, 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 don't think I can keep that. Because I have a Stubborn Denial, so. So, four. So I can put down the shields. But if I put the shields down, I can guarantee cast Gurmag Angler next turn. I think I need to get Angler down. So let's go get a Blood Crypt. This is kind of greedy. So because I took down this, my opponent says, please don't cast Hollow One. I'm going to ditch my Stubborn Denial. I think I'm going to need both Death Shadow and Gurmag Angler to pull weight here. I'm 
นะเห็นลองฟังสิ่งที่ผมจะทำก็คือถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผมมีปัญหาที่ดีถ้าผ